Well, we're back uh, right here on Hala Kuwait, and I hope everyone out there is enjoying their evening. Right now, we have our first guest right here in the studio. We have with us uh, Ro'a Qaddura, and she is a clinical dietitian. Good evening, and welcome to our program. Good evening. Thank you so much for having me. It's my it's nice pleasure being here. Nice to have, you. To, have you. you with us. So we're going to be talking a little bit about diets and so forth. So diets usually come with a strict uh, regimen uh, that is usually a deterrent for many people. Therefore, uh, with your experience, how can a person now watching commit to a certain diet? Uh, well, uh, it's very common now that people tend to, to go for a very strict diet in order to lose weight. I wanted to shed the light on this topic today so that I can help them to lose weight in a very healthy way and to avoid any uh, health conditions or health adverse effects. So uh, following a very uh, well-balanced diet is very important especially that we want them to lose weight in a very healthy way without affecting their uh, health, without affecting their uh, vitamins and mineral storages in their body. There so seems to be a lot of like trends out there. Definitely. You know, people watch social media and they see these people trying this trend, that trend, different diets. Uh, so how can one choose uh, what's best for their body type, please? It's usually advisable to uh, consult a dietitian. Uh, because as you know, uh, everybody is different than the other uh, and the, all the body needs is different uh, from a uh, person to another. So we usually recommend uh, uh, consulting a dietitian uh, in order to help him choose the best diet for him that's suitable for him and uh, to, to leave him uh, feeling uh, comfortable at the end of the day. So what do you recommend now in terms to, there's a lot of uh, diet trends nowadays. What's the latest? What's going on in the field of diets uh, now? I don't, I don't think anyone uh, did not hear about the keto diet right. or the uh, intermittent fasting exactly. diet, especially nowadays with all the trends. Yeah. Uh, we can, yes, usually, we usually uh, recommend those types of diets, but they need to be, yeah, you need to be consulting a dietitian along with To following follow up with diets, everything. Definitely. Especially that they have like specific guidelines that you need to follow in order to avoid any uh, health complications. Uh, they are advisable, to be honest, especially with the latest uh, researches and uh, studies. But as I, as I told you, it's very advisable to consult a dietitian and follow up with a dietitian along with following up with them. Excellent. And we did touch on earlier, you know, social media is everywhere. Yeah. Everyone seems to have a smartphone right in their hand and all the time. So social media is an integral part of our daily lives and people have been exposed to all sorts of information about diets. So what is your effect, uh, your opinion on the effect of social media has on our perception of what's good and what's not? Because you also see people who've done these diets, they may do photoshops and they look so amazing and so forth. So people then want to try these diets and Definitely. they really may not even be healthy and good for them, right? Well, it's very crucial to shed the light on this topic, especially with the rise of social media now nowadays. It's very important to know who you're following and know the information that you're taking from the people who are speaking about nutrition or any nutrition related topics. It's very important to take uh, the information from a well-educated person that's delivering uh, well-balanced or scientifically based uh, information. So I usually advise people to follow um, doctors, professionals, or dietitians, and uh, like listen to them uh, to follow a very healthy diet and avoid any complications later on. Okay, so uh, what, it's ahead. not it's not uh, like seeing not everything we see on social media exactly. is correct. Uh, that's why we need to consult professionals and healthcare uh, practitioners. Yeah, maybe reliable accounts where Definitely. you see that they're actually professionals in their field mm -hmm. like dietitians or healthcare professionals. Uh, those are more probably the ones to look at. You know, athletes also uh, who are looking to uh, you know monitor and maintain their form. Do they get the same benefits using a diet plan, or is their kind of plan usually a little different? Let's say an athlete comes to you. Would you? do a different plan? That, yeah, for sure, because they need a specific amount of macros, uh, especially with the, with the intensity of the workout that they're macros, doing. When you say macros, tell us for audience macros, who may not know what that yeah, is. Yeah, the macros are all about uh, carbohydrates, protein, and fat. So it depends on the intensity of the workout the athletic is doing. So we usually do it as, uh, like we usually do a specific diet plans and a personalized diet plans in order to meet all their body needs. 
Okay, great. So yeah, it's way different than the weight loss plan, especially with the intensity of the workout that they're doing, because their nutrition would really affect their performance and would really affect their muscle contraction later on and the m muscle uh, repair. So they may actually need a higher calorie diet sometimes? Uh, yes, for sure. Yeah. Okay. Especially, especially if their workout was very intensive and it required a lot of effort, then yes, they would really recommend a high calor caloric diet along with a high protein and moderate in carb. Okay, so what differences uh, can you tell our audience can be found between weight loss and athletic diets? Um, as I've been, uh, as I told you, uh, the differences are uh, the number of calories or the calorie count, uh, the amount of protein and the amount of carbs, along with the quality of the food, because the quality during uh, your exercise and workout is very important because it might affect uh, your muscle tissue and uh, your vitamin storages. So it's very important for the muscle contractions as well. Okay, very true. And you know, in Kuwait per capita, We've always been like top three, top four for obesity rates. So unfortunately, obesity is at a high prevalence right here in the state of Kuwait. So uh, there's a lot of uh, weight loss focused surgeries and procedures like sleeves and bypasses are becoming more and more accessible and openly embraced by many people. Uh, when is this advisable uh, for a person to go undergo such a surgical procedure as opposed to the traditional diet? Give us some details and information about that, please. I usually not recommend such uh, surgeries. Even if the unless, BMI is really no, out no, of control? No, unless, unless the BMI is very high, okay. which is around 40, uh -huh. or the person has a medical condition that is threatening. So uh, in this case, yes, they would do it for, I would uh, recommend them to do it for sure because uh, we want to recover or like overcome the medical condition that they're suffering from. So uh, not everyone is eligible to do such, uh, bariat such surgeries or the bariatric surgeries, but uh, they need to consult their doctor and a dietitian if they decided to, uh, if, they, if they recommended it, then they would do it for sure or they're eligible to do it for sure. And then if those are not the ones that are a little less, the BMI, try to continue with the diet and exercise, yeah. right? Yeah, but sometimes people might have a, the BMI around 30 or 34, yeah. but they have a, a, like a very serious uh, medical condition uh, that would let them or allow them to do such uh, surgeries. So yeah, in this case, they might like need it for sure. But not everyone is uh, yeah, required Yeah, there's some advantages and disadvantages definitely. relating to specific proce uh, procedures like you mentioned. Elaborate a little bit more on this, please. Okay. So uh, if that was done along with the, the dietitian's consultations and follow-ups, and the weight loss was gradual, uh, and there was like a speci a speci a special uh, guidelines that they were following, then that's good for sure. But sometimes uh, they do the, the, those kinds of surgeries, but end up like uh, eating a lot of uh, high caloric uh, foods that would let them regain all the weight that they've lost or maybe they wouldn't uh, stick to the supplements that they've uh, been required to have, or maybe they, would, you, they wouldn't t take any of the protein supplements that they, they need to have post their surgeries. Sometimes people suffer from bowel construction, malnutrition, uh, some vitamins deficiencies, uh, vomiting, continuous vomiting, uh, low blood pressure, and uh, like so many complications that they, uh, they, they would uh, like uh, prevent with the, the, uh, the recommendations of the dietitian. So what's your views on, let's say, supplements? Are those uh, beneficial for certain people? Yeah, definitely. But I wouldn't recommend anyone to take uh, supplements without the, uh, the doctor's uh, prescriptions, especially that they wouldn't need it and they wouldn't have any deficiencies. As you know, ex the, the, yani, the more uh, amount of uh, uh, supplements that you take would affect your storage, especially that it would lead you to toxicity um, uh, later on. So if you don't have any deficiencies, it's not required and you wouldn't need to have them uh, randomly. Better to get it to, from natural sources. Definitely, yes. That's Make true. sure that your diet is well balanced and has all the food groups in order to uh, just make sure that you're giving your body all its needs. Exactly. So as we're winding up our interview this evening, do you have any uh, last words or comments or a bit of advice for the audience? You know, it is, uh, we're into the summertime, well into it. and. People always want to look their best in summer and so forth, they like to go out to the beach or so forth. So mm -hmm. what advice do you have for 
the audience who would like to shed some weight, but rather in a quick way? Um, uh, losing weight in a very quick way is not recommended, okay. to be honest. I would recommend them to follow up with a dietitian and mm -hmm. to lose them gradually. They can still lose weight. I don't want them to follow a very strict diet that would let them follow it for a, a weeks or months. Like and intermittent fasting, what are you, your views on that? Intermittent fasting is excellent. Okay. Yeah, it's excellent, especially that uh, the latest uh, studies and researches um, uh, have shown that uh, they have a very good impact on the insulin resistance and might, might like leave a very good uh, uh, effect on uh, so many health uh, conditions such as diabetes, hypertension, and uh, so, so many So it's recommended intermittent Yes, fasting. it's definitely recommended. Well, that's great to hear that. It was a, a pleasure to have you on our program. The and pleasure we wish is you mine. Thank you so much. All the best of luck. Thank, thank you, you for coming. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. We'd like to thank our guest, uh, Ru'a Qaddura. She's a clinical dietitian. We thank her so much for her time with us this evening and valuable information that she provided for you, the audience out there. Right now we're going to be moving on to another one of our amazing reports, and it's a report dealing with music. Stay tuned for this.